video I want to show you how to use a breakpoint. Uh, so what's a breakpoint? Um, a breakpoint is a debugging tool, uh, something that you would use to prove out a program. Um, it just lets you edit on the fly as you're proving your program out. Breakpoints are found in the menu under edit breakpoints. So we're just going to toggle one breakpoint in this demo. Uh, you can see the keyboard shortcut control B. Okay, so the way it works is typically you might want to put a breakpoint at, um, at a tip change or a, an area of concern. And what happens when PCDemus encounters the breakpoint during execution is that the program will pause and then you use the execution box to step through the program. So it's like block by block uh, proving out from that point forward. So I'll just demonstrate and uh, show you how it works. So I have a pretty simple program. I have three tip changes. Um, so once I encounter my second tip change right here, uh, I want to insert a breakpoint. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut control B. And you can see that little red dot there in the edit window. So once it encounters that red dot, we will be doing block by block programming until I decide um, to just continue with the program. Okay, so let's run it. I'll just hit the play button here. And you can see in the edit window that as each feature is being executed is shown in red. So whatever is being executed or what the software is currently on is shown in red. So it's encountered the breakpoint. And now what I need to do with the execution box is step next. So there's a little button here called step next. So every time I press that, it will execute wherever the cursor is. So let's hit it once. So you can see it's done the tip change. So imagine you're, you're proving out a program and there's, you're a little nervous. You're not sure what <laughs> it's, what it's going to do, or you want to make sure it's safe. This is a nice safe way to do that. So now you can see in the edit window, my circle one is red. So that is waiting to be executed. So my circle one is actually on the back side. So I can actually rotate and, and take a look. Or if I was actually live doing this, I could you know, step around the back of the machine, take a look. And when I'm ready, I'll just press step next and then it executes my circle. So we're still paused. And the other thing you can do with this breakpoint is that I can actually program on the fly like I can add commands here I can add move points I can add comments and I'll show I'll just show you I'll just demonstrate that so while this is paused I can just put my cursor before the tip change and actually add an operator comment so let's go ahead and do that so I'll just say um, tip is about to rotate and just add it there and when I click OK you can see it's actually, well, it's actually put it in the wrong spot, but that's fine. I can just cut and paste, cut that, put my cursor here, just like that. Okay, so let's, let's carry on. So I'll just hit step next. So whenever I add something on the fly, like edit on the fly, you'll see this um, uh, box pop up. A new feature has been added. In this case, all I wanted, it's, it's actually just a comment. So I'm just gonna continue and then step next, so it should go to the circle two next. Or actually, it should go to the, the new tip change. So another warning, so again, at this point, if this is unsafe with the clearance cube motion uh, activated, I can actually insert an incremental move. So let's do that. So I'll put it, um, well, clear the warning first. And before, um, I forget, I'll just put my cursor before the operator comment and do an incremental move. So I'll just come up in Z, say 200 millimeters, and OK. So you can see that's inserted there. We'll see the comment. It'll come up, it'll rotate, and then measure my circles. So the rest of my program should be good. I'm just going to not step through but actually just press continue and it'll just do the rest so there we go a, a really useful debugging tool it's not something we talk about in training too often but it, it recently came up um, in a training session so i thought i'd share it with you um, i hope you found that useful thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time <laughs>